We are going to set systems and create cues and rewards. As James Clear says, I found that goals are good for planning your progress and systems are good for actually making progress. So you're like, okay, I came up with all of these goals, all of these New Year's resolutions, or if it's in the middle of the year, I've come up with a goal. I have my impulse thought and my inspiration. Okay. Uh... And it's basically just saying your mindset is that you fall to the level of your lowest systems. People normally default to their lowest systems. So if you don't have a high vibration, a high system in place, you're going to fall down to the low one unless you create the system that goes along with it. One of my New Year's resolutions is to max out my Roth IRA, $7,000 for the max contribution this year. And if that's something that you would like to do, or if you have a financial goal, this is very helpful for your system. So basically what a system is, is setting up your goal into a very small chunks. You don't want to just eat the whole cake. I mean, you do but we start out with one slice, you know, like one little slice of that ice cream cake. And it is so delicious. And you start out by taking one little bite, savoring all of its goodness, and then you eat the whole cake. I mean, slice. And these will eventually turn into habits. So those are our systems that we like to use. So I like to, for my financial goals, set up automated systems. Now, this basically means that whatever you're getting from your paycheck, you allocate a percentage of that to your Roth IRA or to your taxable brokerage. And you can set an allocated percentage. This can be five to 10% of your paycheck per month. So that way you're paying yourself first without even thinking about it. Because guess what? As a remit, I will teach you to be rich. He says, automate that laziness. And you literally did five minutes of work for it. And that's a very lazy system that you can create. You can be the best version of yourself. You just need different systems and you need to know about these things. So after we have a handle on the systems, we're going to talk about cues and rewards and why they're so important because James Clear mentions that as well. The cue triggers a craving which motivates a response, which provides a reward, which satisfies the craving. What did I just read? Okay, so basically what a cue is, is your brain, when it visualizes it, it's like, oh my goodness, I have to do this, right? Ah, okay. You put your sneakers next to your bed and your workout gear right next to your bed or you're like sleeping in your workout gear. Oh, cool. I guess I'm going to go running now. I like to have my Fidelity app in my phone so I can be able to see it and monitor it and make sure that whenever I get paid, that it automatically transfers into there. So all I have to do is be able to see it and it's there and I can see it. It's tangible. Great nothing else to do. Don't need to think about it for the rest of the day. I would absolutely love that beautiful Christian Dior bag. Maybe I'll make that a reward. So James Clear suggests that rewards are the positive outcomes that reinforces the behavior you're trying to establish. So in my case, when you're thinking about your financial goals, if that is your, you want to be in your rich girl era, or you want to be in your Ty Lopez era, Rewards are just as important in accomplishing your goals as our cues and systems. Basically, if you allow yourself to have a positive experience with your goal and a positive experience and happiness and joy is associated with your goals, you are more inclined to actually reach your goals. So let's look at the financial goal that I have. I will go on Sunday to a coffee shop and just relax and have my coffee. I normally do a reset for me, but that's normally, you know, being in my little space and like being my introverted self and in my happy place. So that's my reward. So your brain starts associating your reward with the goal that you have and the system and the cues that you have. So my brain is associating having a lovely bit of quiet me time with my favorite cup of coffee with my actual investing, which is a great way to help yourself. If you think that rewarding yourself for yourself is detracting you from your goals, it's just because you don't have the right type of rewards or the right type of reward system. And that will set you up for so much success and you can use that in any goal that you have.